Hi guys, my name is Beth and welcome back to Beth is PC. Today I'm going to be showing you my nighttime skincare routine. Um, I have about nine products with me and nine, ten steps in my skincare routine. Honestly, your skincare routine simply does not have to be this extreme. I've just chosen to invest in myself a little bit. Whatever works for you is absolutely fine. I'll talk you through the product and then I will show you all the steps that I take. Okay, so first things first, we want to take off this makeup. Um, and I am going to be using the Caudalie Vino Clean Makeup Removing Cleansing Oil with castor and sweet almond oils for all skin types and um, for face and eyes. Um, this is a 100% uh, recycled bottle. I um, I absolutely love this. Um, it is not a greasy substance, despite the fact that it is uh, like an oil. Um, Oil-based cleansers have been my absolute go-to for my skincare routine. I think I paid £22 for this at Boots really easy to control the amount of product it use and does a really beautiful job of taking off my makeup without leaving me feeling greasy. Next up I have the Vichy Purite Thermal Fresh Cleansing Gel. This is for sensitive skin, um, removes impurities and pollution particles and reduces discomfort caused by hard water. Um, this is a 200 ml bottle. Um, it is a pump bottle. I have used this through, as you can see, almost to the very end of the bottle. At first, if I'm being entirely honest, I was not so sold on this. Um, it left my skin feeling quite dry. Um, it wasn't really about it, but as I've used it more often um, with the rest of my skincare routine, actually it's left my skin feeling really nice, really cleansed. I think I paid about 14 pounds for the bottle. It's lasted me about three months, if I'm being entirely honest. Um, it's a decent size. Um, a little bit goes a long way. It creates a nice lather in, uh, on the skin. I can't really complain. I can't really complain about it. At first, I was not so sure about the scent because it's meant for sensitive skin. And I was like, mm, I feel like my skin's going to have a problem with this. But actually, I have really enjoyed using it. Um, would recommend it if you live in a hard water area. Next step is toner. And I have been using this Sebamed facial toner for clear face for impure and acne prone skin. It claims to combat pimples and balance the pH of the skin. It says it's got a clinically tested pH of 5.5. I have enjoyed this. I can't say I have any complaints. I put a little bit on a cotton pad and just wipe it across my face after cleansing. It doesn't sting, it doesn't burn. I've liked it so far, so. That's step three in my routine. Step four in my skincare routine is a serum. I use the Revolution 2% Hyaluronic Acid. This is a plumping and hydrating solution. Um, it does such a good job of uh, keeping my skin feeling very soft. I am almost at the end of using this. I love this little dropper bottle. Um, it comes in this little pipette. Can be quite hard to open though. Um, gets a little bit stuck. I don't really have any complaints about it. Um, I also don't think uh, it is like my holy grail product um, quite yet. For step five in my skincare routine, it is an eye cream. It is definitely one of my more expensive products in my skincare series. Um, I use this day and night. It is the Dr. Jot Vital Hydra Solution Biome Eye Cream. This is the pump bottle it comes in. Um, such a little amount goes such a long way. It cost me 27 pounds. I will scream from the rooftops about this. It, it, it just, it instantly leaves my skin under my eyes, feeling moisturized, brightened. I look more awake. I just, oh, I just love this stuff. And it sinks into the skin so quickly. It's not sticky. It's so worth it, almost 30 pounds. Um, and I will absolutely repurchase this. I don't know if anyone has like a holy grail spot treatment that they recommend like a topical ointment or something let me know in the comments down below but i have this little acnicide five percent benzoyl peroxide gel i am obsessed with it it is such a tiny tube but it was like five pounds from boots a little bit goes such a long way i've been getting a lot of breakouts on my jawline again i remember the days of like applying little bits of witch hazel to my skin and it just burns and didn't do anything this soothes doesn't feel burny love it I was originally using an Elemis Sensitive Skin Night Moisturizer, but it's been discontinued and I cannot find anything that holds up to its standard. However, um, to my surprise, as you can see from this very squeezed tube, um, this is a 10 pound Cetaphil Rich Night Cream Tube. 
Um, I bought, it was literally 10 pounds that I bought from Roots. Um, it's a 50 gram tube. This is dry to very dry sensitive skin. It doesn't clog my pores. I wake up in the morning and I can still feel that this is on my face and it's not sticky. It's not tacky. It is perfect. And for 10 pounds of a little tube, I am squeezing the life out of this tube to try and get the most out of it. I have only recently started using a retinol treatment, which is next to my skincare routine. I have been using this Boots Ingredients Retinol Serum, um, just two pumps on my hand. Um, this is a little pump bottle um, on the cheaper end of the spectrum. I'm going to talk you through, um, I have on my screen here that I'm going to pop up um, on uh, the screen right now. This is from uh, clevelandclinic.org about what retinols do, um, what the benefits are of retinols, um, just so that we can get like a, you know, like an overview of what retinols actually are um, from place that is more qualified to talk about them than I am. It's a topical treatment. Um, it's a form of vitamin A. Uh, you can use it without a prescription. Um, retinol increases skin cell production. It helps unclog pores. Retinol also exfoliates your skin and increases collagen production, which can reduce the appearance of fine lines, wrinkles, um, giving your skin a fresher, plump appearance. I have to say, I have not had um, many blackheads because I tend to get my nose um so i guess that's down to the retinol and i've also not had to um deal with flaky dry skin where i felt the need to um exfoliate with a physical exfoliant um so this is um i guess this is testament to the product like it was uh this is the boots um the boots uh retinol ingredient serum that i actually used it cost me seven pounds um has four stars on their website. So I can't, I can't say I haven't noticed the difference because I've definitely noticed the difference um, in using the retinol. And we'll see long term if it helps with any fine lines. And finally, to end my skincare routine, I use the Wild Mint Cosmetics Marula Magic Facial Oil. Um, this is a non-greasy oil. Um, despite the fact that it is an oil. This little beauty cost me 19 pounds on the Wild Mint Cosmetics website. Um, I know that it has been a burning question <laughs> in my comment section. Beth, I know you were sponsored by Wild Mint at one point, but do you still use their products? The answer is yes. Um, I still use their um, Marula Magic Oil and I also use their uh, Green Tea Clay Mask. Um, this is, the, I think, the second tub that I have now purchased from them. Um, I still do use their products, despite the fact that I am no longer sponsored by them. Um, they were actually very good quality products. I wasn't lying in my sponsorship. I just wanted to move on to something a little bit more high end and um, kind of experiment with things uh, with my skincare routine, which is completely fine. So now I've talked you through all the products that I'm going to use in my skincare routine. Um, I will see you back here in just a second while I have a beautiful bow on my head to keep my hair out of my face. And we'll start my skincare routine. Okay, so first things first, now I feel absolutely ridiculous with this giant obnoxious bow in my hair. Um, I'm just gonna put a few pumps of the Vino Clean Makeup Removing Oil onto the palm of my hand. Like I said, a little bit goes a long way. I'm just gonna rub that into the palms of my hand and um, we're just gonna smear this. Look how oily that is all over my face. Okay, and now that I feel like the disgusting oily monster that <laughs> has just taken off all her makeup with a cleansing oil. Just to create a lather, I'm just gonna dip my hand into this warm water, rub my hands together, make it into a lather, and then I'll rub on my face again. And now that I've done that, I'm just gonna use this um, this clean, dry muslin square to dip into some warm water that I have in front of me. I'm just gonna take it off um, and remove the makeup and the oil at the same time. And there we have it. That was the cleansing oil. I think we can all agree that it's done a fantastic job of taking off that first layer of makeup. Next up, we're gonna use the Purite Thermal Vici face wash. I'm just gonna use this now clean bowl of water, wet my face just a little bit. And then, because it needs to be applied to a damp face, and then um, just apply some of the, some of the uh, gel palm of my hand a little bit goes a long way and then just work it into a lather like I 
said a little bit goes a long way. Oh, girl. Wash my face. Oh. I don't want to talk about it. Now that I've cleansed my face with the cleansing gel and rinsed that off, my face is a little bit damp. So I'm just going to use this um, fluffy towel and just a dab. We're just going to dab. We're not going to pull. We're not going to drag on the skin. We're just dabbing. That's all we're doing. No dragging. I just have a little cotton pad here and the toner. And all I'm going to do is put a little bit on and I'm just going to wipe it in an upwards motion really gently across my skin. Now we're going to be using the uh, Revolution 2% Hyaluronic Serum. Um, just going to get the little dropper bottle to fill up as best I can. And all I like to do with this is in a cute little pet. Just put like a few drops on my hand. We'll say three. It's quite a thick and fluffy texture. I'm um, just rub it onto my hands and then Just um, dab the excess over. Now we've allowed the serum to set into my skin. I'm going to be using the Dr. Jart Biome Eye Cream. I just put a little bit onto like my ring finger here. Just a little pump bottle. Just a little bit goes a long way. I'm just going to like gently, gently glide that into my skin. And then also do the same. Like I said, a little bit goes such a long way. Just under the bags of your eye. And then we're going to use the Acnicide um, Benzoyl Peroxide 5% Gel. Um, and just put that on target areas. It's been about five minutes now of waiting for the eye cream and the Acnicide to sink into my skin so we're next going to go in with the rich night cream from Cetaphil <laughs> that's maybe a bit much um all I'm gonna do is rub this onto my hands and get my um my forehead um my whole face and down my neck as well with the egg and now we're just gonna give that a couple of minutes to sink in and then um over the top we'll use the retinol um, and I'm just going to slather this into my hands and then across my face with it. I've let the retinol sit on my skin for about five minutes now. So we're just going to go in with a little bit of this Marula Magic Oil. Um, comes in a cute little dropper bottle. Just like three drops. Um, and all, all over the skin. And there we have it. That is my nighttime skincare routine. If you like the content that you saw from me today and for more content like this, give the video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below to say the best part of your video or any skincare recommendations that you have for me. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye guys.